Nigeria is a sovereign state. A sovereign state. We, we make decisions on our own. But you can't be like, say, now foreign influence, they determine the kind of policies where government they make inside this country. And I go prove and give you Recently, he get within IMF, International Monetary Fund, one advice that they advise this country uh, as he take consign the hardship. They want us to suffer more. Uh -huh. They want us to suffer more. They want Nigerians to never have anything good in this life. Oh, now they hear me. I go prove and give you now. Because they don't they advise our president now. Do this, do that, do this, do that. Uh -huh. They don't want to mind their business. I won't give you now, Femi Falana. Senior lawyer and a right activist. She not said they got it. Uh -huh. When I go here waiting him talk as he take touches. IMF not minding their business when Nigeria did. Uh -huh. Come last night, then they push the policies where this government they use. They kill Nigerians. Because it's not concerned them whether you chop or you don't chop. Their own is make life miserable for these people. They must never live to enjoy this country. Oh, oh now they hear me. They must be second hand citizens inside their own country. Make I not talk too much. Help me listen to Femi Falana. Watch. There's no society, there's no country in the world where government does not subsidize one product or the other. Even in the most advanced capitalist societies. And that is why Nigerians must now begin to ask the government to discard and jettison the deleterious programs and policies of the IMF and World Bank. Because just yesterday, just yesterday, the IMF was asking the government to remove first subsidy in its entirety and also increase electricity tariff. Whereas the government had told the nation and the IMF and World Bank, come. The political atmosphere in the country is not conducive to electricity tariff because our people are suffering. The government is subsidizing the discourse. The only body, the only economic body recognized by the Constitution to advise the president is the National Economic Council, headed by the vice president. And that body is peopled by the governors, the governor of the central bank, I mean state governors, governor, the governor of the central bank, the minister of finance. So why has that body abdicated its responsibility? To the IMF and World Bank. The report of the uh, the 2020 report of the Auditor General of the Federation presented to the, um, sent to the National Assembly last November. That report is saying that the 3.5 billion dollars, the loan of 3.5 billion dollars taken by Nigeria from the IMF cannot be located. That is what the report is saying. The IMF should be interested in that. Because we are required to pay the loan in three years. Between, no, four years. Between 2023 and 2027. So the IMF should be interested in that. And stop mounting prayer on the government. To multiply the hardship of Nigerians. And Nigerian, the government must, man, you know, must summon the courage. To tell this institution to mind their business and allow our country to be wrong in the interest of our country. When I hear them. Now, senior advocate of Nigeria, they talk that you know. IMF, they advise Nigeria. Hey, well, everything we consign for a subsidy, come out. Every, remove all subsidy, come in, everything we consign for it, so, come out. There must nothing be, there must not be anything like fuel subsidy anywhere. Diesel, fuel, PM, everything. Remove it. And then hike electricity tariff. To what end? I can embark. We are still crying that the one the, the situation we are in now is 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 killing, is roasting us like bully. IMF the advice government say come out everything for subsidy, increase electricity tariff. 
The same IMF when this government go collect, when I hear that video, go collect three point five billion dollars from the money miss. IMF is not talking about where the, the whereabout of that money. The money just disappear. When I hear them, it disappear. How the money they go? Who collect them? Nobody feel give any account. It disappear. Brrr. It cannot be traced. I have no they put matter. No they put eye for that matter. But they know how that three point five billion take go because I didn't give the money. Who didn't give them? Who didn't give them? What did they carry? They know they put eye for that one. As according to say, high tariff, uh, uh, remove everything for subsidy to make sure that the Nigerian people remain perpetually poor, suffer even inside their own country and now here waiting for me for an tell imf mind your business how you gonna tell us making money business when people weigh him they even advise give they accept them yes now uh it be like say the nigerian government cannot do without all these people because all this money that they are collecting from them you think they are using to work for the nigerian people. is a lie you it is for their own personal interest everybody is carrying their own money everybody in this government came with a ghana Moscow came with a their own bag when they go use pack their own money go so if they are not dancing to the tune of imf what bank and the rest of them how they want to call a loan the loan where they go call it nobody to do any capital project for you to fatigue their other to fill up their bags so that while living they will live you know with so much money in dollars so oh, oh, they hear me so why wouldn't you know, answer uh respond or uh, even accept the the uh, advice from IMF. When I go say very soon, now electricity tariff will go up. They go to say uh, uh, national grid don't collapse. <laughs> they go high electricity tariff. Everything we consign subsidy, fuel, all these uh, 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 petroleum products from Kudo. They go come out all sub. They everything. Uh, it, uh, I tell you this yesterday. I didn't tell you now. Say now, so you go be. Everything will be on the high level. Oh, go see him. This particular one, when they just come out of the shop. Hey, 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 forget now. I get me tariff for 1,500 per liter inside this country. They watch. Now, just nine months of this government, too. Eh? They don't they give listening here to IMF and the rest of them, advising them to kill their own people. When I hear what the family for Lana talk for, for the Abbey. Let me say, I mean, talk about the senior advocate of Nigeria, and I talk senior lawyer, human rights activist, and I talk about it. Ngwana respond to IMF carry out their orders increase electricity tariff eh this first of the world on the crisis make you bring them back no evil reason to bring them back let us see whether you will survive for years in this country abi ngwana i go see ona later imagine a country where its citizens get to enjoy the road without this Imagine a country where unprecedented fuel scarcity does not cause panic at the filling station. That is why Innocent Vehicles has embarked on manufacturing environmental friendly gas powered cars while still offering comfort, luxury and doggedness for the African roads. Innocent Vegas, the pride of African Rome.